ಸದಾಶಕ್ತಾಶೇಷಾನ್ ಔತ್ಸುಕ್ಯಮೋಹಾರದಿಜಾನ್ ಯೋ ಪೂರ್ವೈದ್ಯಾ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ತಸ್ಮೈ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಸೊ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ಋತುಚರ್ಯ ಆಂಡ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಷನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಕಾಲಮ್ ಆಂಡ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ and uh, today i think when we plan to start the session i think we will not discuss too much about what we discussed so far and also about what we are going to discuss because i think that it, it is so uh, abstract sometimes the ideas you cannot get very concrete ready to apply information from this text about ruducharya this is an overall idea what we are getting so we should not put them as such into practice till date i think we might not have gone through rutucharya in this detail of course i know that we all have learned rutucharya chapter very well and we have we might have compiled a big volume of rutucharya from various samhitas and uh, tikas but above and uh, over all these information what is meant how far is it practicable that sort of issues are to be contemplated upon so the essence of the story is not in the lines what we see here but in between the lines we saw that okay dakshinayana uttarayana then shadradavah then many other things related the related to the vikalpam of bhutas vikalpam of rasas happening in different rutus and everything great now we will start looking into one rutu after the other and uh, before that we conclude at one observation that sidhe griyam prishti gharme alpam balam madhyam tusheshayo sidhe griyam prishti gharme alpam balam madhyam tusheshayo from here we will be switching over to hemanta chatiya hemanta chatiya actually we started the entire show from shishiram onwards shishiradhes trimhistais tu vidyadayanam uttaram that is how we started but now what is going to be started is hemanta chatiya so there is a some sort of a disorder that has happened but it seems to be logical because hemandam and shishiram are sheetartus good both are sheetartus is there any difference between hemandam and shishiram that is another question hemandam and shishiram hemandam the word meaning is related to himam so the presence of himam 
is more in Hemantam. Shishiram is more about Shaityam. So there are some meanings for every word, no? So the presence of Himam, snow, is more pronounced in Hemantam, whereas the presence of uh, Sita, cold feeling, is more in Shishira. And uh, even though they both come under Sita Agriyam, we just saw in the previous line, Sita Agriyam, so just one word is used, Sita. So whether that is Shishira or Hemantam, it is both. So when we use the word Sita alone, it means both Sitam and Shishiram and Hemanda. And uh, this there is a big line in between the Shishiram and Hemanda. That also should not be overlooked. This is the junction point between Uttarayanam and Dakshinayanam. Shishirodha Vasandascha Grishmam. These three comes under the uh, come under the uh, Uttarayanam. That means the pendulum is on the northern end. Then it starts back towards the south, Dakshinayanam. So Dakshinayanam starts with the, that uh, 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 Sharat, sorry, uh, Varsham, Shishiram, Vasandam, Grishmam. Then Varsham onwards, it is the uh, next Ayanam. And on the top, it reaches Hemandam then jumps to Shishiram and from Shishiram onwards it is on the next lap of the race. So it is a junction. It is a meeting point of two Ayanam. Still, it is interestingly both are cool. So obviously there will be some difference in the cool feeling. That is what we will see later. Similarly, the junction between Varsham and Grishma or Grishma and Varsham. That is also another junction. From the one end of the sun, then coming back to the next Ayana. Uh, from Grishma, in the Grishma, the Uttarayana peaks, then the Dakshinayana starts with the Varsham. And there is a huge difference. It is not like Hemantham and Shiram. What we feel in uh, Grishmam and what we continue with the uh, Varsham are entirely different. There are many differences, very uh, tangible, very palpable, uh, very pronounced differences between the Rutus in every aspect. So these two things we have to keep in mind. And uh, why it is started with Hemandam, the Sita Opacharam, that is the Hemanta Chaitya. Sitopacharam. Sitopacharam is not like uh, the, the Upacharam with the Sitam, Upacharam for Sitam. Sitopacharam, what I mean is Upacharam for Sitam. So that is what is the story of Hemanta Chaitya. And the same thing can be applied with a little bit more intensity, more gravity in Shishira. So when we go for a chronology, if you start with the Shishirartu, uh, then next you will be explaining about something entirely different. Because Hemandam will come in the end only. But if you start with the Hemandam, the explanations, you can say that the same thing is applicable in uh, Shishiram with more rigor, more intensity. That is according to a Tandra, not according to a Tandra Yukti, but explaining the way, the, the things in such a fashion is uh, some sort of a Tandra Yukti, which is known as Adidesha, Adidesha Tandra Yukti. Explain one thing and in a next context or the coming context, say that the previous one is applicable as such here. Or what I explained there is applicable as such here. That is known as Adidesha Tandra Yukti. So uh, here, the explanation starts with Hemandartu and when we reach Shishiram, we will find that the same thing can be repeated in 
shishirar to as well that is why we start with the hemandam very good all these are minor technical explanations those who are interested may be feeling it as fine uh, then we are going to explain what is happening in hemanda balina sida samrodhad hemande prabalonala bhavati alpendhano dhadun sapajet vayune ritaha two lines balina sida samrodhad hemande sida samrodhad hemande प्रबलः अनलः भवति अल्पेंधनः धादुन सपजेद वायुना ईरितः सो हेमंदे हेमंदर्तु व्हाट इज हैपनिंग बलिनः बलिनः पुंस्तः दैट मींस फॉर दोस इंडिविजुअल्स हु आर स्ट्रांग इनफ by default by default we get a sense of balam in hemandartu sidhe agriyam so balam is agriyam and it is on the top of the visarga kalam as well it is on the top of the visarga kalam so while we learn about balam we know that there is sahajam there is kalajam there is yuktigata three types of balam so here this balinaha indicates that kalakrda balam it is kalakrda balam so there is an advantage that the balam by default will be good balinaha but what is the source of that balam don't mistake it as the kalam will give you balam if you fast in hemandam if you either fast or starve you cannot expect the advantage of hemandam that you are going to get good balam because it is kalaja balam no you will not get it whatever you eat annam arogyam bhojanadhinam arogyam bhojanadhinam so that balam is obviously dependent upon aharam no no uh, question about it but whatever you eat in hemandam if you eat the same stuff in varsham the output is going to be different output is going to be different because the way in which the aharam is going to be processed the way in which the srotas is going to behave and the way in which the dhadu pushti is going to happen are entirely different in hemandam you have got all the advantages of many things coming together to be conducive for brilliant excellent balam and that is facilitated by the support of rutu that is the picture so don't think that it is an independent balam it is not independent but obviously dependent upon the anna arogyam bhojanadhinam bhojyam vidhim apekshate there is a uh, rule fine so here hemande balinaha pumsaha what is what is happening sita samrodhad प्रबलः अनलः अल्पेंधनः भवति इट इज शीत ऑल अराउंड इट इज शीतम ऑल अराउंड एंड दैट शीतम इज कवरिंग ऑल ह्यूमन बॉडीज एंड दैट affects the function of the srotas which is on the twak say swedavah srotas or whatever is there 
which used to be some sort of a conduit for the agni the ushma andar agni the ushma of the andar agni to come out and spread all over so because of this outstanding presence of chaityam all over around those conduits are not working properly so what is happening the ushma of the andaragni jadharagni that is getting samruddham andas samruddham so practically it is gudham it is gudham nigudham internally in the core it is some sort of a confinement it is restricted to its base seat some sort of a quarantine you cannot move out so what is happening it becomes over excited inside because all its power previously which was used to heat up the entire body is now getting focused to the agnisthanam the grahani or the pitta dharagala or whatever it is what we call and the agni analaha jadhara agni becomes prabala shida samrodhad prabalaha analaha prabalaha analaha so what happens there is a risk of this prabala anala running short of indhana running short of indhana alpendhanaha bhavati shida samrodhad prabalaha analaha alpendhanaha bhavati then vayuna iritaha saha dhadun pajed vayuna iritaha iritaha preritaha prakarshena iritaha propelled promoted by vayu he is going to cause pagam of dhatu dhatu pagam is disastrous dhatu pagam is disastrous which is not supposed to happen many a times we use these words careless in a very careless manner dhatu pagam and dhatu parinamam they are not one and same dhatu parinamam is the continuous uninterrupted essential transformation of dhatus in a system whereas dhatu pagam is the destruction of dhatus not the transformation to the next level not the refinement but destruction it is a some sort of a uh, getting perished so that is dhatu pagam which is devastating this very uh, distressing as far as the system is concerned so here there is a risk doesn't mean that this is going to happen invariably in everybody but this is a warning see hemande balinaha shida samrodhad prabalaha analaha alpendhanaha bhavadi and the saha vayuna iritaha thadun pajed there is a threat be careful this is the way in which hemanta rutu charya is uh, introduced fine then we should see this uh, uh, conditions we already saw that hemanta is the last rutu of the dakshinayanam and so obviously the sharira balam is agriyam then pittam which was kupitam pittam which was kupitam in the previous rutu previous rutu is sharat sharat is pitta kopam and hemandam is pitta shamakalam so here pittam is shamam swasthanasthasya shamada samada that means 
which was in the kupita form it has come back to the normal c delivering normal functions it is that pittam all over the body when focused to the pachaka stage the grahani then it is called jadharagni everybody knows that i am just and he is getting enough support from vayu and that is how it is becoming adidiptam to some sort of a threatening status so the condition we should remember is pittam is sama which has come down to the normal from the kupita avastha in sharath but agni delivery is adidiptam then this is a sheetartu this is a sheeta rutu this is also a snigdha rutu hemandam is also a snigdha rutu hemandam is also a madhura rutu it is also a madhura rutu so whatever the case may be we have learned the shloka that chaya pragopa prashama vayor grishma deshu trishu varshadishu tu pittasya shleshmana shishiradishu fine everybody knows these things but we should uh, look into one aspect of this shloka see for example shleshmana shishiradishu that means or i think in hemandam i think the pitta comes so varshadishu tu pittasya in varsham there is pitta chayam in sharath there is pitta kopam in hemandam there is pitta samam fine but we should also think about what is going to happen to vayu in hemandam what is going to happen to kabham in hemandam you cannot expect one rutu to afflict only one dosha and not minding the other two at all it will never happen in a system even though it is not listed out precisely in the shloka we should have the sensibility to look into those aspect what is happening to kabha in hemandam what is going to happen to vayu in hemanda so that is why i am explaining that it is sheetartu it is snigdhartu out of this sheetam which is quite even to the level of some sort of quite harsh vayu obviously will increase vayu will increase no doubt at all but for some reason it is not going to cope up fine so there is vata chayam even though we learn that vayor grishmaadi shutrishu that means in grishmam only vayu comes to chayam don't think that it is the only time where vayu will be in chayastha in hemandam as the situations are favorable for a vata chayam we should expect that vadam will be vrittam reaching to the level of chayam then kabham obviously due to the presence of snigtham and sheetham kabham also will be vrittham kabham also will be vrittham so we have pittam shamam swasthanastham vadam is in chayam and kabham is in chayam agni is pravrittham that is the situation where we are in hemandartu vata chayam pittam shamam kabham chayam agni bhuttam this should be there in our mind and uh, the balam what we feel we experience in hemandam is not just out of the snigdha sheetata of the rutu but it is also due to the agni deepti which facilitates proper ahara parinamam and thadu poshanam this is where we are 
now there is shitam outside it is quite shitam that pushes the agni from the periphery to the core of the body that is what we call technically here as shita samrodham so there is cold feeling outside you want to wrap yourself with some uh, some uh, uh, cloth some uh, blanket or something like that but in the core agni will be sudiptam and that agni which is sudiptam requires or demands some sort of a snigtha praya aharam snigtha praya aharam otherwise it will start eating your dhadus and the sanchita vayu will give full support to the agni that will give full support so that is what we see in the third line what is that ado himes min seveda swadu amla levana and rasan ado himes min seveda swadu amla levana and rasan swadu amla levana that needs some discussion swadu amla levana are snigdha rasa out of the six these three are known as the snigdha rasas rest of the three are ruksha rasas so here swadu amla levana and rasan bhajed seveda that is the advice what we see but there are questions there are questions because amla and levanam are pitta varthagam they are pitta varthagam so how can they be used is there any logic again there are many other points which we have to discuss so i am not going to the complete complexities because you are not going to see this sort of perfect cycle of ruto the perfect ruto chakram where the ruto will be changing from one to the other at the end of the two months period and you will be going you are going to see all the six rutus in a very very well defined chronological manner with the two into six pieces this is impossible there cannot be even a single place where all these six rutus will be very periodically repeated and this sort of a manifestations are going to happen so this is something like an ideal story where everything is fine the screenplay the script everything is written so as to suit the hero hero comes fights and wins the uh, the show but unfortunately in real life it never happens so we just want to get the cracks the real stuff of the concept that's all need not follow them as such then uh, here what is advised is swadu amla levana and rasan they are all snigdha rasas taking separately swadu is guru vata pitta shamanam shidam kabha varthagam and agni mandyakaram it is agni mandyakaram so just for the snigdha da gurutvam and agni mandyakaram it helps it is vata pitta samanam so obviously agni samanam it is guru so agni mandya karam it is shitam so that way it suits but amla levanam they are for, can cause further agni vruthi if they are pitta vruthi karam kabha vilayanam and vata samanam so they are used only as anubandha rasas amla levanam should be used as anubandha rasas the diet basically should be madhura prayam madhura prayam amla levana anubandham obviously i think how far we are going to use levanam and how far tiktam kadu kashayam all these things are going to be there in in our daily food even though we say that shadrasam obviously it is madhura prayam it need not be added with the sugar but all this dhanya vargam by and large comes in madhuram so those who are 
basically grain eaters are eating madhura praya ahara everywhere fine so here amla lavanas should be anubadha rasas otherwise they are going to further increase the agni and cause kabha vilayana actually everything was favorable for kabha kopam only element lacking was ushnam so if you profusely give amla lavana rasas it will bring about kabha vilayana causing kabha kopam so they should be anubadha rasas only then otherwise there will be all these problems agni dushti kabha vitta dushti and everything and vayu also may become very weak so practically uh, we have to go for swadhumla lavana rasam see kashayam is the kashayam is guru and sheetam so why don't we use there is a question kashayam is guru and sheetam so obviously it is agni agni mandya karam then why don't you advise kashayam because it is adiruksham padavarthakam and stambhanam it is adiruksham padavarthakam and stambhanam so it is not desirable at this point when considering the vikalpam of dosha sthiti what we discussed whereas if you go through the advice of sushruta advice of sushruta you will find that sushruta advises tiktam kadu tiktam and kadu not even madhura to that uh, level sushruta says hemande lavanakshara tiktam la kadu gotkadam sa sarpistailam ahimam asanam hidam usmuchyade hemande lavanakshara tiktam la kadugotkadam lavana shara tikta amla kadugotkadam sa sarpistailam ahimam asanam hidam uchyade so give, he is giving some more details but the rasa predominance is including uh, tikta and kadu and even some shara prayogam is also advised so the reason could be to control the threat of kabhagopam the threat of kabhagopam uh, tiktam and kadu are basically having the nature of controlling the kabha so that could be the reason why sushruta is a pro tikta kadu character but that need not be the reason that need not be the reason we are not sure because sushruta vakbhada charaka they were not students of the same campus they might be experiencing different climatic conditions in different desha different kala so whatever they were experiencing or whatever they were trying to document need not be identical especially you we should understand that these are not portions like trudosha siddhanta these are highly experiential what i am going to experience around what is i am seeing observing that is what i am going to document so what sushruta experienced and what vakbhada experienced what charaka experienced as far as the seasonal manifestations are concerned need not be one and same and the practices also need not be one and same so there is no meaning in establishing that they were the birds of the same feather they need not be so so their explanations also need not be the same so we just understand and go for some sort of a retrospective assessment about where sushruta could have documented this information that's all there is another in interesting observation what it, it, which is already mentioned i think included by uh, our uh, hemadri if i'm right if it's hemadri i think or maybe um, arunadatta 
about hemandam what is that pittam samyadi tat saityad vayu shleshma jachiyate in hemanda pittam samyadi fine tat saityad vayu shleshma jachiyate so this vata shleshma chayam is not included in the shloka which i recited earlier that means chaya pragopa prasama vayur grishma dishu trishu varsha dishu tu pittasya shleshmana shishira dishu but invariably we should have a thorough understanding about what is happening here otherwise we will not be getting the real picture so with this background there is a question here we saw that um, ശീത സംരോധാത് പ്രബല അനലഹ ശീത സംരോധാത് പ്രബല അനലഹ ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് ആസ് ദ അഗ്നി ഈസ് ബീങ് പുഷ്ഡ് ടു ദ കോർ ബൈ ദ ശൈത്യം ഔട്ട് സൈഡ് ഇറ്റ് ബിക്കംസ് വെരി സ്ട്രോങ്ങർ ടു പെർഫോം ഇൻ സൈഡ് ശീത സംരോധാത് പ്രബല അനലഹ then there is a question why don't we expect or why can't we expect the same thing to happen in varshartu in varshartu also there is shaityam but we don't find this in varshartu in varshartu agni sanno visitati adana glana vabusham agni sanno visitati so there is very very pronounced ag- agni madhyam even though there is shaityam outside you don't see you don't observe you don't experience the shida samrodhad prabalaha analaha so what why this sort of discrepancies we have to understand that the shaityam of varshartu and the shaityam of hemandartu are not one and same that is the important point we should not that is why i told that rutu charya should not be followed or understood from the lines but they should be understood by reading between the lines because whatever is going to happen is to be considered as a whole okay shidam is there fine that is why i explained regarding hemandam that this is a sheetartu this is a snigdhartu this is a madhurartu this is a gururtu many things can be there in the same way we have to find what is happening in varsha which was the preceding ritu which is going to come after this they are also to be taken uh, into consideration that is how varsha is even presented adana glana vapusham agni sanno bisidati so there is glana vapus the person who is going to enter into the varsha rtu is glana vapus tired man tired individual so when your body is tired your agni is also tired sheede agriyam vrishti gharme alpam so the the deha balam is alpam so obviously agni balam is also alpam whereas here the word the, the towering word is balinaha balinaha chide agriyam so all these things are to be understood so here we saw that it is pitta samam and vata kabha chayam in varshartu we find pada kopam pitta chayam and kabha dushti vada kopam pitta chayam and kabha dushti pitta chayam is somewhat vidagdha roopam kabha dushti is somewhat vidagdham and agni is mandam agni is mandam so the associated shidam need not work in the same way as the shidam is working in hemandam as the 
Sheetam is working in Hemantam. This sort of seeing the stuff completely, not completely, completely. I, I don't mean that every every scene, every situation, everything can be seen. Samagram, Samagram doesn't mean everything, but those who are closely interconnected. When you say it is the holistic view, you mean you are taking into consideration all those interconnected factors or features and never means that everything is taken into consideration which is impossible which is impossible you cannot take everything into consideration but try to get the maximum interconnected factors so when we understand when we perceive when we study rutus try to grab maximum interconnected factors then you yourself will be able to understand what should be the next stand the next step to be taken to manage the problems of this particular ritu fine then what is explained next we will find i think at this point we should see what is uh, the view of ashtanga sangraham Ashtanga Sangraham is very nice as far as uh, Rutu Charya is concerned because I think the, the poet of Vagbhada is uh, on its peak. The, the poetry of Vagbhada is on its peak, I should say. We find that, sorry, just one minute. Yeah. Hemandam. See. Dhuma Dhumra Rajo Mandas Tushara Avila Mandala Diga Aditya Maruchaitya Duttaro Ro Maharshana Lodra Priyangu Punaga Lavalya Kusumo Jula Drupta Gaja Aja Mahisha Vajiva Ayasa Sukara Himani Padala Channa Lina Mina Vihangama Sabashpa, Soshmana, Kuba, Abascha, Himagame. A very beautiful explanation, very beautiful explanation of the entire event happening in an ideal Hemanda. We will see what it is explained. Himagame in Hemanda to Dig Aditya, Dik, Dik and Aditya, son, are. Dhuma Dhumraha as if smoked Dhuma Dhumraha Rajo Mandaha Rajo Mandaha means a little bit dim in their brightness in their capacity by Rajas Rajas is dust then Tushara Vila Mandalaha Tushara Vila Mandalaha everywhere all around it is Tushara avilam, tusharam avilam, avilam with tusharam. There will be presence of this dew and this fog everywhere. So it is becoming tushara avilam. Then Uttaraha Marut Shaityad Roma Harshanaha. The northern wind Uttaraha Marut is causing uh, Roma Harsha. Why Shaityad? Saityad Roma Harshanaha. Then Lodra Priyangu Punaga Lavalya Kusumo Jwala. All around it is Ujjwala. It is so brilliant by the flowers of Lodram Priyangu Punagam and Lavali. Lodra Priyangu Punaga Lavalya Kusumo Jwala. Brilliant. Then Gaja Aja Mahisha Vaji Vayasa Sukara Druptaha Druptaha means excited or very uh, I am quite enchanted who Gajam Ajam Mahisham Vaji Vayasam Sukara see how how beautiful the, the depictions are how uh, the, the exact connection between the season and the attitude of the flora and fauna around. 
is observed and documented in the most beautiful way. So in the Hemanda, Gajaja Mahesha Vajivaya Sasugaraha Driptaha. They are quite happy, quite um, um, excited elephant. Then Ajam, then Mahesham, Vaji, Vayasam, and Sukaram. Then Himani Padala Channaha, Lina Mina Vihangamaha, Nadhyaha. Nadhyaha, the rivers. Rivers are Lina Mina Vihangamaha. Lina Mina Vihangama, Meenam, fish, Vihangamam, birds. So there is no fishes or uh, birds seen over that uh, they are not visible they are not visible in the on the surface of the rivers instead they are himali himani padalachanaha himani padalachanaha that uh, top of the water is covered with the himani that uh, sheets of ice Sheets of ice are covering the top layer of the rivers, and practically we don't find any fish or bird on that area. Himani padalachanaha lina mina vihangamaha nadhyaha. Then sabashpaha soshmanaha kubapaha cha. That is an interesting observation. Kupapaha. Kupapam. Kupam is a well. Apam is water. Kupapam is well water. Kupapam is Sabashpaha Soshmanaha. Sabashpaha. There will be some sort of a bashpam. Fumes coming from the top of the well water. And Soshmanaha. The well water will be warm to touch see what is the the picture that he has documented the water in the river is frozen on the top whereas the water in the well is sabashpam and soshmanam so see the water in the river is flowing over the mahitalam over the Mahi Talam. So it is afflicted by the Shaityam of the Hemantartu directly making a frozen layer over. As you all know, the water in a well is coming somewhat deeper. It is not on the Mahi Talam. It is not on the Mahi Talam. But it is deeper. The source is deeper. Whereas the river is on the Mahi Talam. So the Mahi Talam is frozen. Whereas Shida Samrodhad, there is Ushma deep. So the Kupa Jalam, well water is Sabash Pamand Soshmanam. With this picture, Vagdhada or whoever it is, is trying to say that this is what is going to happen in the human body also. This is what is going to happen in the human body also. So, Shida Samrodhad Hemande Prabalo Analaha is very beautifully uh, explained with the metaphor of what is happening to the water in the nature. What is going to happen with the river water as well as the well water. The same thing is going to happen in the human body. So the continuing in Ashtanga Sangraham, Dehoshmano Vishandonda Shire Shidanilahataha Jadhare Pintidoshmanam Prabalam Kuruvade Nalam. Same thing what we saw in Ashtanga Hridayam, but the usages are a little bit different. Here it is Jadhare Pintidoshmanam Analam. Prabalam Kurvade. So a, 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 a Visheshanam is there. Pindidoshmanam. Pindidam. Which has come to some sort of a Pindagaram. So it has become uh, focused. 
ഫോക് സെന്റേർഡ് ഇൻ ദ ജഠരം ജഠരേ പിണ്ടി ദോഷമാണ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വൈ വി ഹാവ് ഗോട്ട് ദ ജഠരാഗ്നി ആസ് എ ദീപ്തം ദെൻ വിസർഗേ ബലിനാം പ്രായ സ്വഭാവാദി ഗുരുക്ഷമം so in visarge here it is hemande uh, balinam by the advantage of the rutu you are having that kala jambalam and you become swabhavadi gurukshamam you can tolerate well kshamata shows tolerance you can very well tolerate those stuffs ingested which are by default guru സ്വഭാവാദി ഗുരു ക്ഷമം സോ ബ്രഹ്മണാന്യ അന്നപാനാനി യോജയെ തസ്യുക്തയെ തസ്യുക്തയെ ബ്രഹ്മണാനി അന്നപാനാനി യോജയേ ഓർ എൽസ് വാട്ട് വിൽ ഹാപ്പൻ അനിന്ധനോന്യത സീതേതത്യുതീർണതയ അഥവാ ധാതൂനവി പചേത്തസ്യ സോ there is the risk of dhadu bhagam which we also in ashtanga hrudayam as well tadas tesham kshayad marut tejas sahajara kupyed sida sida visheshataha it's a warning it's a warning if you are not feeding your prabala jadharagni with the brahmanani annapanani there is a risk of dhadu bhagam which is going to cause secondary marut vriddhi vayu vriddhi vayu here is explained as or with a special rank special graduation that is tejas sahacharaha marut marut is always tejas sahacharaha and pittam is always known as vada sakha vada sakha so uh, vayu is teja sahajaraha pittam is vada sakha they have got a coalition within the governance that is the adjustment with the vayu and pittam so teja sahajaraha kupyed why teja sahajaraha maruti sitaha so here everything is sitam it was just looking for some dhadukshayam to occupy that space and bring up the vayu to the kobhavastha so there will be a total damage that is how this is explained in ashtanga sangraha so what we will come back to ashtanga hrudayam first in ashtanga hrudayam it is told ദൈർഘ്യം നിശാനാമേദർഹി പ്രാതരേവ ബുഭുക്ഷി അവശ്യ കാര്യം സംഭാവ്യ യഥോക്തം ശീലയേതനു വാദഘ്ന തൈലൈരഭ്യംഗം മൂർധ്നി തൈലം വിമർദ്ദനം നിയുദ്ധം കുശലൈ സാർത്ഥം പാദാഘാതം ചയുക്തി സിറ്റുവേഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഹാപ്പനിങ് ഇൻ ഹേമന്തം ദൈർഘ്യാത് നിശാനാം നിശാനാം ദൈർഘ്യാത് നിശ ഈസ് ദീർഘം വെൻ കമ്പയർഡ് വിത്ത് ദ ദിവാ ദ ഡേ വെൻ കമ്പയർഡ് വിത്ത് ദ ഡേ നൈറ്റ്സ് ആർ longer in hemandam in grishmam days are longer than the nights days are longer than the nights in the rest of the rutus there is no much difference between uh, day and night everybody knows all these things because of that uh, that tilt in that imaginary axis of the earth there is a uh, some sort of a uh, uh, difference between the, the the two sides of the earth which is closer to the sun so obviously here 
നിശാനം നൈറ്റ്സ് ആർ ലോങ്ങർ ദാൻ ദ ഡേയ്സ് സോ വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് പ്രാതരേവ ബുഭുക്ഷിത പ്രാത ഏവ ബുഭുക്ഷിത നൈറ്റ്സ് ആർ ലോങ്ങർ so what that is what we are going to or we are exclaiming at the, at this point of time uh, considering our way of life we are going to eat our dinner at 10 o'clock so whether it is grishmam uh, whether it is varsham whether it is hemandam sisiram no issue we are going to take our dinner at 10 o'clock and we are going to get up at 8 o'clock in the morning so what is the difference so that is where the way in which people were living according to the nature is making the difference here pradareva bubhukshitah two reasons number one there is a normal inclination for the agni to be deeptam number one number two the dinner is ideally taken before the sunset dinner is ideally taken before the sunset so when the days are shorter that means the sunset will be little bit early so you will have obviously your dinner early and the next meal is next day's breakfast and that will be uh after the kapha kalam of the next day morning so obviously the gap between your dinner and the break next breakfast is going to be longer in hemantartu whereas agni is deeptam that is why it is very specifically observed and documented that pradareva bubhukshita don't wait avashya karyam sambhavya യഥോക്തം ശീലയേതനു വാദഖനതൈലൈരഭ്യംഗം റഷ് ത്രൂ ദ ഡെയിലി റുട്ടീൻ ഓർ ദ ബേസിക് തിങ്സ് വിച്ച് ആർ ആർ സപ്പോസ് ടു ഡു ഇൻ ദ മോർണിംഗ് ലൈക്ക് ക്ലീനിങ് യുവർ ബ്രഷ് ദൻ ഗോ വാട്ട് എവർ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ ടോയ്ലറ്റിംഗ് ആൻഡ് വാട്ട് എവറി തിങ് വാട്ട് വി ഹാവ് സീൻ ഇൻ ദിനചര്യ ദെൻ പ്രീവിയസ്ലി വി ഹാവ് സീൻ ദാറ്റ് ഇൻ അഷ്ടാംഗ സംഗ്രഹം ദൻ അഥ ജാത അന്നപാനെ ചാ ഈസ് where ad- abhyangam is advised here you are getting up with annavanecha so you have no time to waste so meeting the basic minimal requirements that are essential for the morning then what is you are going to do vadakna tailair abhyangam shilayed murdhini tailam vimardanam niyuddham kushalaihi sardham padaghadam cha yuktitah so this is uh, sabala rutu you can go for vyayamam ardha shaktiya nishevyastu balibhi snigdha bhojibhi sita kale so you have to do not you can do you have to do vyayamam so different types of vyayamam are explained uh, after the abhyangam vadakna tailair abhyangam മൂർധതൈലം ദൻ വിമർദ്ദനം കുശലൈഹി സാർത്ഥം നിയുദ്ധം യുക്തിത പാതാഘാതം ച ശീലയേത് സോ ഗോ ഫോർ വെരി ഇൻറ്റൻസീവ് എക്സസൈസ് ദിസ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് വെരി ലൈറ്റ് എക്സസൈസ് കുശലൈഹി സാർത്ഥം നിയുദ്ധം ഓർ പാതാഘാതം ആർ ക്വൈറ്റ് ടയറിങ് എക്സസൈസസ് ദൻ ആഫ്റ്റർ ദാറ്റ് കഷായാപഹൃതസ്നേഹസ്തതസ്നാദോയഥാവിധി കുങ്കുമേന സദർപ്പേണ പ്രതിഗ്ധോ ഗരുധൂപിത രസാൻ സ്നിഗ്ധാൻ പലം പുഷ്ടം ഗൗഡം അച്ഛസുരാം സുരാം ഗോധൂമ പിഷ്ട മാഷ ഇക്ഷു ക്ഷീരോത്ഥവികൃതീഹി ശുഭാഹ നവമന്നം വസാം പൈലം സ്നേഹ തഥ യഥാവിധി സ്നാത 
ಸ್ನಾನ ವಿಧಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ಇನ್ ಅಷ್ಟಾಂಗ ಸಂಗ್ರಹ ಇನ್ ದಿನಚರ್ಯ ದೆನ್ ಸದರ್ಪೇಣ ಕುಂಗುಮೇನ ಪ್ರದಿಗ್ಧ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಅಗರು ಧೂಪಿತ ಧೂಪನ ರಸಾನ್ ಸ್ನಿಗ್ಧಾನ್ ಫಲಂ ಪುಷ್ಟಂ ಗೌಡಂ ಅಚ್ಚ ಸುರಾಂ ಸುರಾಂ ಗೋಧೂಮ ಪಿಷ್ಟ ಮಾಷೇಕ್ಷು ಕ್ಷೀರೋತ್ಥ ವಿಕೃತಿ ಶುಭಾ ನವಮನ್ನ ವಸಾಂ ತೈಲ ಇನ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಟಾಫ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಡ್ವೈಸ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಜನರ್ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಟಾಫ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಡ್ವೈಸ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಶೀಲನ ಬಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕಲಿ ಅಡ್ವೈಸ್ಡ್ ಬಿ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಭವತ್ಯಲ್ಪೇಂಧನ್ನ ಸಪಜೇದ್ ಧಾದೂನ್ ವಾಯುನ ಈರಿತ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ದ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಈಸ್ ಆಫರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಸಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ this uh, uh, scorching bites or the threat of the bite of this cold outside that's all then yuktyarka kiranan swedam padatranam cha sarvada padatranam you have to wear always then swedam swedam because as we saw earlier the swedavah srodas are ruddham so there is no sweda pravrti that is why the agni is uh, Ex, uh, working extra inside and that is why you are feeling so cold outside so you are going to give swedam yuktya arka kiranan arka kiranan atapam yuktya bhajeb seveda another difference here it is cold so you are supposed to give arka kiranam in varshar to it is cold but there is restriction for arka kiranam there is restriction for arka kirana so again that is the difference between the shaityam of hemandam and varsham difference between the shaityam that you are going to feel in hemandam and varsham so just go through all these details and make something like a, a spreadsheet with all these uh, data entered and the flow charts some sort of interconnectedness are drawn so that will be a excellent understanding because because these are going to be the original concepts of community medicine in ayurveda community medicine in ayurveda is not to rush after the modern the park textbook of social and preventive medicine and finding the ayurvedic counterparts for the technical terms used original idea so it is more related with the concept something like uh, this uh, one health or uh, total health or these ideas or the, the, the there are certain terms used these days like uh, salutogenesis so all these things are to be taken into consideration and ideas should be brought up with the details and put into practice fine so this shloka i will read once again and i think we will conclude with that kashaya abhrata sneha stada snado yatha vidhi kungumena sadarpena pradigdho garudhupita rasan sniktan palam pushtam gaudam accha suram suram ಗೋಧೂಮ ಪಿಷ್ಟಮಾಶೇಕ್ಷು ಕ್ಷೀರೋತ್ಥ ವಿಕೃತಿ ಶುಭಾ ನವಮನ್ನ ಸಾರಿ ನವಮನ್ನ ವಸಾಂ ತೈಲ ಶೌಚಕಾರ್ಯೇ ಸುಖೋದಗ ಪ್ರಾವಾರಾಜಿನ ಕೌಶೇಯ ಪ್ರವೇಣೀ ಕೌಧವಾಸ್ತ್ರದ ಉಷ್ಣಸ್ವಭಾವೇ ಲಘುಭಿ ಪ್ರಾವೃತ ಶಯನ ಭಜೇದ್ 
യുക്തിയർക്കകിരണാൻ സ്വേതം പാദത്രാണം ച സർവത വി ഹാവ് കപ്പിൾ ഓഫ് മോർ ശ്ലോകാസ് ഇൻ ഇറ്റ് ബട്ട് ഐ തിങ്ക് വി വിൽ ഗോ ത്രൂ ഇറ്റ് ഇൻ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഡേ ഐ നോ മെനി ഓഫ് യു മൈ ഡോട്ട് ഹവ് ടേക്കൺ യുവർ ഡിന്നർ സോ വൈൽ എക്സ്പ്ലെയിനിങ് ഓൾ ദീസ് തിങ്സ് വി ഷുഡ് ടേക്ക് some care for following what is what we are learning also so i the nilesh we will finish the session here we we'll continue on next class hello nilesh okay 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 nilesh has uh, put one message due to some network issue i won't be able to speak today sorry for the same fine i hope uh, everything is fine and everything is well with others there is one point the so following verse or two how the grade of snikkhata increase in sharat so i think that is why i told that we will not be discussing too much here because i think at the end of the session of rudrajarya most of these points will be cleared so please keep the question with you and uh, let us see whether it will be cleared by the end of our uh, in rudracharya session otherwise at the end we will put the, this ideas further for discussions so i hope um, we will uh, conclude now and uh, namaste to all of you thank you very much